Hi, this is Mark Rand from Applied Design Intelligence. One of the things people who are considering switching from a program like Microvellum to Inventor are concerned with is whether Inventor can handle edge banding. By this, they generally mean one of two or possibly both of these things. A. Can I get a total length of my edge banding from the model? And B. Will the final parts reflect the correctly sized panel minus the edge banding and trim allowance? The answer to both is yes. This model, the Base Master Cabinet Configurator, as well as all of the other configurators, is presumed to have edge banding on the front faces of the carcass parts, as well as all the way around the doors and drawer fronts. The total length is displayed on the form for reference, and at this particular configuration, the total edge band length is 446 inches. This information would also be fed to your bill of materials, parts list, or wherever else you need to send it. Now, I'll switch to the Size and Style tab and change the door and drawer counts to 1, the depth to 14 inches, the width to 12 inches, and the height to 20 inches all of which are the minimums currently set for this configurator. Now I'll press Apply, and the model configures really small. Switching back to the Output tab, you can see that the total edge band dropped from 446 inches to 150 inches. So, yes, you can get the total length of edge band. In future videos and tutorials, you will see these totals calculated on a per room and a per job basis as well. Now for the correctly sized parts. When you are showing your models on screen, you need to have everything in its finished looking state, but your machines require the rough size to be fed to them. For this, all you need to do is change the shop version from false to true, click apply, and your parts will adjust to whatever they need to be. Notice that only the left side adjusted on this model. The bottom, right side, and the rest of the parts remain the same. That's because this feature is not included in the downloadable master configurators. If you want this functionality in your own model, you need to add it yourself. That way, you can get the exact configurator you need without piles of extras that are designed to please everyone. You can also create numerous versions of each configurator, each of which is designed for specific circumstances. All you have to do to add the functionality is follow the step-by-step -step tutorial specifically created for this functionality, copy and paste, and possibly modify some iLogic code, and you will have this functionality wherever you need it in your own configurators. This is Mark Randa from Applied Design Intelligence. Stop by our website today for more details.